Hey everyone, hope you're doing okay out there in quarantine land. Today we're going to show you how to make some rubbish notebooks. So these are some notebooks I've made from old envelopes, old pieces of paper and they're bound together here with some really pretty stitching. To make your notebook you're going to need to gather together some old envelopes. You can use A4 pieces of paper folded in half and that will make around about the same size or you can just gather together any piece of paper that you want as long as they've all got a straight edge. You're going to need some bulldog clips, scissors, a pencil is always useful, a piece of cardboard, some string, and this can be any string, I've got some paper string here but you can use wool or embroidery thread, things like that and you're going to need a sharp needle that's quite thick. So I've got um, a darning needle here and it's got a pretty sharp end which is really useful and it's quite thick and it's got quite a big eye you can see there. So I've got lots of um, envelopes here some of them are all different sizes just to make it simple I'm going to collect all the ones that are the same size together. I'm going to try and find ones that are pretty blank on both sides as well. So now I've gathered together the envelopes that I'm going to use I recommend not using it any more than 10 or it will make it really difficult to push the needle through them all. The next thing that I'm going to need to do is we've got the open bit obviously because that's how you got the letter out. We're going to need to cut along these sides and these sides here but leaving this side complete. So I'm going to take my pair of scissors with the blade edge shut I'm going to put the scissors inside the envelope and just really gently tear the edge of the envelope. Don't worry if it's a bit rough. We're in quarantine, we're in quarantine, nothing's perfect. So now I've opened up all of my envelopes. I'm going to decide what order I want them to be in. So you might want something fun on the front of your envelope like important information enclosed or private. So I'm going to arrange these. Remember as well that you might have some windows in there so decide which side you want them and when you've decided on that we're going to tap them down. So the best way of doing that is to hold the envelopes a little bit up in the air and just let them drop. Lift them up and let them drop and when you're pretty sure that you've got this edge really straight and you haven't got too much overlap there you might need to um, pull them into shape again and don't worry about how many times you've got to do this and um, it's better to get it right and that way that way you, um, it will make it really easy to bind so I'm just going to tap it down again I'm going to get my private notebook and I'm just going to clamp the edges like this. Now I'm going to mark five dots on my envelopes and those are going to be the um, mark points where we're going to stitch our book. You can use a ruler for this if you have a ruler. I haven't got a ruler to hand so what I'm going to do is use some string to measure it. So I'm going to measure the length of my envelopes like this, fold it in half, you don't need to cut the string and then once it's folded in half hold the edge against the edge of the envelopes, sorry hold the end of the string against the edge of the envelopes and mark it there and that's going to be your halfway point. Fold this piece in half again and where it loops around we're going to hold that against our halfway point like so and mark it on this side, open it out And mark it on the other side. Try and keep all of your dots in line. De 
decide how far away I want um, my final dot away from the edge. About this long, about this far, that's fine. Going to mark it here. And then without taking my fingers off it, I'm going to hold it against the other end and mark it again. And that's how to measure it without using a ruler. Next, I'm going to measure my string out. Again, you can use thread, you can use embroidery thread, you can use wool, you can use thick thread, anything you want. So I'm going to measure it five times, so holding it against the envelopes. One, two, three, four, five. And a little bit extra for luck, just because I've got some extra. So I've got my needle, I've threaded it with my thread, and now I'm going to start threading. So you're going to need to put your envelopes um, on top of your piece of cardboard, start in the middle. For the first one you might need to press quite hard, sometimes lifting each envelope up in turn helps quite a lot so then you've only got one layer to go through. Try and keep your needle pointing down all the time and when you put your finger in make sure that it's well away from the needle. No spiked fingers. So we're going to go all the way through like this and then we're going to do the same on all five holes. I've put the holes all the way through all of the envelopes like so and now I'm going to start in the middle so push your needle through all the way through to the other side and let it pull all the way through until you've got this end I find it really really useful just to catch it in the bulldog clip and that's when it's really useful to have um, cut a little bit extra and that way it's not going to it's not going to pull out so come around the back and back through the middle and pull it all the way tight again I'm going to turn it over because the thread's on the other side and you're going to work one way we're going to do one way and then we're going to repeat it on the other side so threading back through this hole here being careful of your hand and you might need your piece of cardboard to just push the needle through from the back So when you've come along here, you're going to go around the back again and back through this second hole. Push it through using the cardboard again because you don't want to mark your table. Go through the third hole on this side. You're going to go around the top again, and back the way you came, and then you're going to go around the side and back through this hole again. Make sure that you're pulling all of these threads nice and tight. So then if we look on this side, We've almost mirrored it, so we're going to go back through this through this hole that we've already made. Basically, you're just going to join up all of the dots. You're going to join up all of the empty spaces. So you can see an empty space here, and we need to put our thread through there. So your thread's really unlikely to come out now. So you can probably let it go from the bulldog clip on this side and that way you don't get confused 
or if you're not if you're really not sure just clip it in on this side instead and then it's tucked out of the way so we're going to follow the pattern that we've just done here back through this is our last stitch so it's a really simple book to make it takes hardly any time at all but now we've got these two loose threads not sure what to do with the best way of finishing it off is to go back underneath these three stitches that you've made pull it tight and then go back through this hole so that both of the threads end up on the same side there we go tighten a knot double tie it just for luck triple tie it if you're feeling extra lucky you can cut these threads off if you like or you can leave them hanging free so I'll just keep my needle here for safekeeping take the bulldog clips off and there you have your very own notebook made from recycled paper so to make it neat and tidy you can cut the edges off that's fine and maybe take some of these raw edges off I quite like the look of them but let's see what you make with your notebooks in lockdown <laughs> 